Hi, I'm Brian from Clive Coffee, and today we'll discuss setting up your ECM Synchronica espresso machine. Step 1. Inspect the box and machine for damage. Remove the inner box and remove the machine from the inner box. We recommend saving all of the packing materials and boxes. Set the machine on a stable and level surface. Inspect the machine for damage. If you find any damage, please contact us immediately. Once you're done inspecting the machine, remove the wing nuts from the bottom of the machine. These hold the pump secure for shipping and would amplify the sound of the pump when it's in use. Step two, choosing your water source. For water, the Synchronica can use either the built-in reservoir or a plumbed-in line. If you plan on using the reservoir, make sure the water source knob underneath the machine is in this position and the water source switch under the drip tray is set to reservoir. If you prefer to plumb in your machine, turn the water source knob to this setting and change the water source switch to the plumbed in setting like this. Before introducing any water to the machine, it's important to test it to make sure the water is adequately soft. Use the included water test strip to verify the softness of your water. Ideally, we're looking for a softness near 50 parts per million. For more information on water, take a look at clivecoffee.com water or use the link in the description below. Step three, adding water and filling your boilers. For reservoir use, fill the reservoir with filtered and adequately soft water. Lift the brew lever and turn the machine on. With the brew lever activated, the pump will turn on and water will start to fill the steam and brew boilers. After a short period, you'll start to see water coming through the group head. Lower the brew lever once four ounces of water have been dispensed from the machine. Remove the drip tray and turn the steam boiler switch to the on position. For plumbed in use, attach the included braided line to the direct water inlet located on the bottom of the machine. To attach, simply screw on the line until hand tight, then use an adjustable wrench to tighten an additional quarter turn. Attach the other end of the braided line to a cold water source. Open your water line and check for leaks. If there are no leaks, lift the brew lever and turn the machine on. This will activate the pump and fill the brew and steam boilers. After a short period, you'll start to see water coming through the group head. Once four ounces of water moves through the group, lower the brew lever to turn off the pump. To activate the steam boiler, turn on the steam boiler switch located behind the drip tray. At this point, your setup is done. All you have to do is wait for the machine to come to temperature and then you'll be ready to pull your first shots. For tips on making the best espresso, check out our Espresso Essentials Guide here. And for tips on steaming milk, we'd recommend watching our Milk Steaming Guide here. And for all the coffee news and equipment reviews, remember to check back in at clivecoffee.com.